Help me, help me, my wife's dead. Well, the 911 call was pretty eerie. He had just found his wife. Is she breathing at all? Nothing? No, trust me, trust me. Okay, is she beyond CPR? Yes, yes. Just trust me, come on, I'm here with my kids. You'll see, you'll see when I get here. And what police did see when they arrived shocked even veteran investigators. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now it became a murder for hire. The actual story need to be heard versus to what you heard and what they wanted you to know. In the southern tier of New York, we border on Pennsylvania. It's kind of a rural area. In winter, hockey draws a big crowd around here. You want to fight someone. Just like when you're a little kid and you get so mad you just want to fight, you know? Thomas Clayton is a local celebrity. One night after a game, Kelly Stage captures his eye. Within a year, the couple are married and eventually have two children. I thought they were an ideal family. They did everything together. But then one night, Tom Clayton comes home late from a poker game and makes a horrifying discovery. Help me, help me, my wife's dead. How long has she been down? I don't know, I don't know, I just got home. Police were called to the house, their body cameras capturing the horrific scene. Anybody else in the house, Tom? Just you? No, I got the kids at the neighbor's house. Okay, where's she at? The victim lay dead on the kitchen floor. Her head bashed in. She was hit with some kind of heavy object. It was gruesome, and there was blood spatter pretty much everywhere. Tom, where were you when this all went down? playing poker with my buddy. Okay. She was home alone? I came home and my daughter said there was a robber in the house and she saw them. He had checked his clothes and his hands. Let me see your hands real quick, man. You ain't hurt or anything? Okay, good, okay. For any sign of struggle or blood or any other evidence that would indicate he was part of this and found none. No, she got blood on the wall, blood on the steps. Looks like she was attacked in bed. There's blood all over. She's been dragged. Blood on the wall. Blood with a hole in the wall. Looks like a face plant into the wall. Her face was basically destroyed. As the night wears on, investigators are combing through everything for evidence. No murder weapon turns up, but they do find suspicious tire tracks. The side door's open, that door's open. No forced entry on the door. Okay. We checked the safe. We checked her jewelry. There was no sign of, of theft at all. When you see that kind of damage, especially to someone's face, uh, it tends to lead you to a crime of passion. While authorities suspected early on this could be a domestic dispute, Thomas Clayton had an alibi. This is where we played poker on Monday evenings, every Monday at 7 o'clock. So take me back to September 28th, 2015. His mind was not into poker, you could tell. Usually he maybe jokes around a lot more, and there was none of that. He was doing a lot of texting on his phone. He was there until the game broke up. And Greg Miller recalled that Thomas left his home at about 12.15 for the 10 to 15 minute ride home. Husband's claiming he was out playing poker. Came home, kid said, Daddy, there was a robbery. Colin was three, Charlie seven, and these poor kids went to bed and woke up and they had lost everything. Life as they knew it was gone. Charlie had witnessed the entire brutal murder of her mother. In her room, she hears her mother yelling, run, Charlie, run. Her mother actually got to her bedroom doorway and may have like actually taken a step inside. Charlie follows the fight. Charlie had told that she had seen somebody hitting her mother with what she described as a, like a white stick. And she kept saying, he did this and he did that. And, and so finally I said, how do you know it's a he? And she said, his eyes look just like daddy's. Those three little words, eyes like daddy, opened a Pandora's box. That was a chilling moment for me and I knew that I needed some help in this interview. 
2020 obtained this video from authorities of Charlie's interview with investigators. Um, there was blood everywhere. Okay. Um, on my door, on the floor, not on the carpet though. And I thought she was dead when she was lying on the ground. And Daddy was out by cars. We were basically alone for like, like 20 minutes. Then he came home and he was like, oh my god. Because he saw my mom mm -hmm. on the floor with blood all over. So here's a seven-year-old girl that saw one of the most traumatic things you're ever going to see in your life. And she's a smart girl, super smart girl. And I think her mind was trying to work through it and figure out, what did I just see? Thomas Clayton was arrested and charged with the murder of his wife. This description from Charlie of this assailant looking like her daddy, eyes, mask, clothes, he gets charged, largely based upon Charlie's words. Clearly, police knew they still had a lot of work to do. They've now charged Thomas Clayton with the murder of his wife, even though he had a rock solid alibi. When we come back, the investigation takes an unexpected turn. Police discover there was another person in the house. Open the door, walk in and get the shock of my life. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show how.